Hello and welcome to Messing About with Models with me John. I hope you're all well today. As I've been requested we're going to be having a look at setting the fast clock on the NCE power cab. Some modelers operate their layouts on the basis of what is called a fast clock where say one minute of normal time is represented by 10 minutes on the fast clock. This is to make operating your layout much quicker and to compress those long periods of time when nothing is happening on the real railway. Now displaying the fast clock is the default setting for the power cap handset. If you want to change it to the more useful ammeter in my opinion then check out the video in the link above. To set the fast clock we press the prog escape key at the bottom left three times or press it and press the 3 button. You'll then be given the option to stop the fast clock from running. If the clock's already stopped you'll be prompted to start, start it later. The next screen gives you the choice between the 12 hour clock that's AM and PM or the 24 hour clock. This is all personal preference really but BR started using the 24 hour clock in the 1960s so if you want to be 100% realistic a steam era model should use the 12 hour clock while a modern image one should be on the 24 hour clock. The next screen is asking you to input the hour. This is in the 24 hour format so for AM use 0 to 11 and for PM use 12 to 23. Press enter and then repeat the process but for the minutes 0 to 59. Now we're being asked to enter the ratio for the clock or in other words how fast we want it to go. If we want it to work as an actual clock telling the real time we enter a ratio of 1 so that the ratio will be 1 to 1 and 1 minute on the power cab clock will be 1 minute in the real world. You can enter any number between 1 and 15 with a ratio of 15 to 1. 15 minutes on the power cab clock will pass in 1 minute in the real world. So an hour on the model, say from 7am to 8am, will pass in just 4 minutes. That might be the time between the arrival of one train and the departure of the next, allowing a hour for shunting. The final screen gives us the option to start the clock running. Well that brings us to the end of this little NCE Power Cab Tips video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please check out the video I've suggested for you on screen now and if you have any suggestions for any future tips videos please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.